are Christians not supposed to judge people? We know that famous statement of Jesus where he says, Judge not, lest ye be judged. And uh, that's a very serious and important statement of Jesus. But it's one that people often, I think, misunderstand. Uh, because they throw that around to say, we can never make judgments about anything. We can never say that what someone's doing is wrong, and that's being judgmental. Um, but we have to ask, you know, what does Jesus mean when he says that? And is what Jesus saying when he says, judge not, uh, lest ye be judged? Is he saying that we can never make any judgments at all? We can never judge anyone else. Now, let me look at a, another verse from John chapter 7, uh, when Jesus says this, Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. So here we have an example, and you can read it in context there, but we have an example of um, where Jesus actually says that we should judge. And he says, though, that we shouldn't just judge by appearance, but make a right judgment. So people are making wrong judgments. And he says, uh, we make righteous judgments. So there's a kind of judging that's bad and a kind of judgment that is good and necessary. The kind of judging that's bad is when you are holding yourself above somebody else. You are being legalistic and you are saying, I am better than you and I'm going to judge you and not like you and hate you and do everything I can to uh, make you feel bad about what you're doing. Uh, and that kind of judgment is not a good thing. That is the kind of judgment that the Pharisees were engaged in. Uh, they were setting themselves up above others. Um, largely, that has to do with hypocritical judgments. That, that's why you know Jesus uses this example of judging the speck in someone else's eye when you've got a log in yours. So we can't make hypocritical judgments. I can't go around and yell at somebody about doing something when I'm actually doing the same thing. Or I'm engaged in, you know, some other kind of, of sin uh, actively without repentance and I'm judging them for doing something, but I'm doing something just as bad or maybe worse. Uh, those kinds of judgments are negative. Those are bad. Uh, and we are not called to make those kinds of judgments. But we have to judge because think about it. I mean, you make judgments all the time. Uh, if you are deciding that you like one kind of pizza better than another, you're making a judgment. Uh, if you are trying to find someone to watch your children and you see that somebody's on the sex offender registry and you're probably going to think, hey, I'm not going to have that person watch my children. You are judging that person. That is a judgmental thing. <laughs> uh, if, if you're going to use the word literally, that, that is making a judgment. You're making a judgment that something, someone is probably not the best person to do a certain thing because you're making a judgment that they are more likely to do X, Y, or Z. Um, you certainly think it's right to make a judgment uh, if a woman is going to marry a man who is physically abusing her, uh, you are making a judgment to say, that's wrong, you better get out of that relationship and find someone to marry you who's not going to treat you like that. Uh, that is, is making a judgment. So we have to make judgments, and we all make judgments. You can't live life at all without doing that. That's just part of making decisions. Because making a decision is essentially judging. You're saying, this thing is better than that thing, so I will do this thing. That is judgment. Um, so we have to be doing it. So uh, then when we're talking about not judging, when Jesus says that, he's saying, judge not lest ye be judged. In other words, I can't use a standard to judge that person that I won't then also apply to myself. That's the kind of judgment that we are to avoid. And judgment in scripture is always for the purpose of restoration. I don't judge somebody, or I'm not supposed to, according to scripture, just to make them feel bad about themselves, uh, to put myself over them, to exalt myself over them. Uh, you know, Jesus' ministry is one of, of humility. We're supposed to humble ourselves before others. Uh, you know, so something like the Westboro Baptist Church going out and protesting people with signs yelling at them, that's not the kind of judgment that Christians should be doing. Uh, but at the same time, if we see somebody doing something that is harmful for them, we are to judge that it's wrong and approach that person about it. Uh, that's That happens in Scripture. We see examples of church discipline in Scripture. We see it in 1 Corinthians. Paul rebukes the congregation for not disciplining somebody. Uh, we see that there are rebukes of false doctrine, judging doctrine being true or false in Scripture, and rebukes to those who allow false doctrine or teach false doctrine. Um, so we need to be making those decisions, but we do it for the purpose of restoration of those people. So if I see a friend of mine who has a severe drug problem who's about to die, uh, do I just ignore it? Of course not. Uh, it's, very, it's important that I deal with it because I want them to be okay because I care about them. Um, do I then scream at the top of my lungs uh, at them? Probably not. Uh, but I come beside them and do talk to them about their sin and talk to them about uh, turning away from it and getting help. 
Um, that's the kind of judgment that we are called to. So are we supposed to judge as Christians? Uh, the answer is yes, we are. We're not supposed to be judgmental in a mean sense, um, but we are supposed to judge between right and wrong. And that's simply part of what we have to do. That's just something that everyone in the world does. And we do it uh, out of love and out of a purpose of restoration rather than condemnation.